Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Bros Hot Takes where we watch a movie and then tell you if you should watch a movie. I am your movie watching host, Older Bro. I am your excited movie watching host, Younger Bro. And today, we return with week five of the summer movie blockbuster marathon where we have watched Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. And oh my god, were we right. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to justify this movie. With asking, is does is this better than Morbius? That is a stupid question. You mean Little Mermaid? No. No, I meant Morbius, because Morbius is oh. our test. It's stupid right. to even ask the question, is it better than Morbius? <laughs> of course it is. The important question is, because I've... Have you seen the, the new Little Mermaid? I have seen Nostalgia Critic's review okay. of the Little Mermaid. I have not seen the movie at all or his review, so I have no context for it. The important question I'm going to ask is, do you think this is better than Elemental? Because yes. I think that is a yes. better question. It's absolutely so, better than so, Elemental. Yeah, I, I'm a bit more mixed on it in terms of being better. <laughs> I think they're both good movies, but I can wholly admit that I would less watch people Ruby are going Gilman. to watch Elemental than this movie. Yeah, like I would so. go to the theater and watch Ruby Gilman again. Yeah. It was, see it Elemental. Was, so it, I hope that helps inform anybody who is just watching this quickly for the non spoiler th uh review it was like one we of the really enjoyed yes. this movie <laughs> and without watching the new little mermaid we can tell you it is better than disney's little mermaid like the only thing little mermaid has going for it is the actor even though a lot of people didn't like that they got her to be yeah, Ariel. It, ignoring, she, is a very, she has yeah. a very good voice. And that's what and I've I heard. agree. I have heard from people who've actually watched it. They said act, the, like, the actor is actually really good in the role. But would I see Little Mermaid over this movie? No. No, no. no. Yeah. Like, there I was, haven't even gone to watch it. Yeah. Like, this, here. This, <laughs> I, I will say, during the movie, I, I definitely whispered over to Younger Bro, are we sure this isn't Disney? Because yeah, if, it really does feel like they did a Wicked, and this was the Little Mermaid, except Ariel's evil. Okay, like so that's that's the kind of vibe you get from this. Is just like also DreamWorks has a new intro, and I loved it. Like it was yeah, they did so have a really good, good new intro. Just <laughs> <laughs> like that was the start to the film. I'm like, oh, you so yeah, you're it selling off me so many of their series, and I was like, I perfect. know. So. Like, just to make way for the new series, I'm like, yes, put her in the next DreamWorks. Put Ruby in the next uh, DreamWorks intro, yeah. please. So, now, uh, there there isn't a lot of things that I want to go over before the spoiler section. This this section is more, again, this section is more just, should you go watch this movie? Yes. And the answer is yes, you should go watch this <laughs> movie. Fucking watch it. It, <laughs> it had, honestly, the, the, the music in this movie... Honestly, there isn't. There wasn't a lot to speak about. It was it was good and, and fine music. I, yeah, like but, I loved one of the like as soon as the song played, I'm like, yes, it yeah. is the night my body's weak. <laughs> like, that's, yeah, yes, it's like they, yeah, it's perfectly the, timed. Yeah, they, like, they the have music. the music they have is is perfectly good for the scenes. It wasn't like ex it wasn't like extremely great it's not like something that no. stands out it was just it was well, good for the movie i mean that song stood up yeah that me. that song <laughs> but yeah now the one the one thing i will say this is very clearly for kids and more specifically for teenagers this movie is very clearly marketed to teenagers so be prepared that if you did not like turning red because you thought that was too teenager feeling this has a very similar feel. Like, it's got that same kind of, like, character energy. I don't I don't know a better way to say it. But, like, it, they feel like very similar people. So, if you're not prepared for that kind of movie, if you're just, if you're not prepared for, some, like, uh, another movie that felt like uh, Turning Red, that's probably going to be a problem. Yeah, so. like, it, it yeah. was amazing. There's yeah. nothing more to say. Character really say. good. Oh like, my god, I love the main character so yep. much. It's so cute! Yep. Yeah, so. There, yeah, there isn't really a lot to say in the section other than it's a good movie. It's, yeah, it's just enjoyable. So. Yeah. Like, I think if any, like, new movie deserved a sequel, it would be this movie. Yeah. 
See, I think I think I'm fine if it doesn't have a sequel. It feels like, like one of those kinda, movies it, that stands it, that's a standalone. It, it did kind of end off of a uh, like they they did what they did at the end so it did kind of seem like they weren't setting up yeah. for a sequel yeah it's like it, it's fine if it has another one i don't think it needs another one but, but i it's... want another one but <laughs> if i i am i would be more happy with a sequel to this than elemental and elemental i was fine with having a sequel as well so yeah hopefully that uh tells you our opinions on this movie uh if you don't want spoilers and if you do want spoilers i mean stick around for about 30 seconds um yeah with elemental like they could set up for a sequel and i can yeah. see what that sequel yeah. would be about we for both teenage yeah. kraken i i'm not it too was sure. just end up being school drama and relationship drama probably like it's instead of middle school we go to high school yeah, i think they're in high school all right it is high school and yeah the... we go to college <laughs> <laughs> i don't know oh uh, so, so all right so spoilers to spoilers seconds. start now so that, spoilers trailers. ariel is evil like it's the trailer here's the thing that. here's the thing the trailers show that but trailers are always ones to lie they they could put scenes in to make you believe something that's not actually in the movie i honestly wanted them to be lying because the problem here's the thing here's the thing, here's the thing with this movie it's it is a good movie but it is not subtle this movie very immediately says, like, here are the Kraken and the Saviors, and here's the evil mermaid. And then an evil mermaid shows up. Who does, Well, she doesn't know she's evil, but a mermaid shows up, and you're like, she's going to be evil. Yes, and then, the entire and then they, time. Yeah, the entire time you're in this movie, you're sitting there like, she's going to be evil. And she doesn't act evil. She acts very close with the main character. And it's just like, but you're going to be evil because you do not have the spine to actually make it not yeah like evil. she's not immediately like shooting main character down yeah, no, like, she's she's very subtle she's very much trying to get her way through uh diplomacy and it's yeah no hint of evil but because you've seen this movie a hundred times you know she is going to be evil because there is no way she's not the villain and surprise the trailers did not lie she is the villain she is the villain <laughs> it's it's no and there's... there was kind of another antagonist which was the pirate guy which... i i love that guy but he was like a... i will catch me my whale or in this case a kraken yeah like and then he sees the crack and he goes full steam ahead. That's when the Christopher Ross song plays. I was like, yeah, yes, he played that song. Yeah. It so. is the nine months. It's so good. Yeah. Like, but yeah, like all the characters I loved. Yeah. The, the I think the biggest downfall that this movie has is the main three characters. In the sense that Ruby Gilman, her mother, and her grandmother. Because they very clearly just don't want to talk to each other about shit it's not it's like the entire movie would have been solved if one of them would have just explained at any time before the the climax what was going on yeah it's like they they yeah so it's like it. it is that, I don't even think they really did by the end of the movie like no. she said she will do that but yeah, we that, don't see that. that. That is the that's the big thing about this. That's why I say that this movie is very clearly for teenagers. It's it is filled with teenage angst. They go a hundred and ninety percent over the top when it comes to like prom and like all these school important events and like so it's it is very hormonal. You you can feel the hormones dripping out of the movie. So if if you're looking for a deep story, you aren't getting that here. It's yeah. it is very much for teenagers, and I'm fine with that. I have no problems watching that movie and enjoying it for what it is. But dear God, if those if the characters would have just fucking explained something, like the grandmother tries, but the it's the it's a problem of timing. The daughter finds out her grandmother's real after not knowing about her, and the mother's just like, oh. I'm protecting you from her. And then the grandmother explains all the lore. And she's 
therefore primed to think her grandmother is lying to her and hiding something. Meanwhile, she's lying to her mother and hiding something. Meanwhile, her mother is lying to both of them and hiding something. And it's just like, my God, uh -huh. would you just all sit down and talk? Uh... <laughs> It's like, but yeah, obviously, well, let's talk about the characters real quick. Yeah. O obviously, the best character in the movie is our main lead, Ruby. Like She's she, great. She is so great. Very, yeah. very adorable. Very and great. I want to say the next best character is one of her friends, which is the Wednesday wannabe. Yeah. <laughs> if we, we are, are to, die, to die, we will die <laughs> not fearing Yeah, death. we will die without fear. Immediate. Dude. The, the, I love the immediate scene after she says that. Like uh, she drops, yeah, down. she immediately drops down and cowers and in holds... fear, and it's like, you fool! I don't think she cowers. I think what yeah. happens is but, the ship knocks her a little yeah, bit. Yeah, knocks her over, and it, but it puts the them into that scene where it very clearly looks like she's <laughs> cowering, and it's just like, so like you yeah. could not immediately undercut her statement any faster than that. But just, oh my god, yeah. like. I, I I sorry I I want to call yeah. her Wednesday because she is Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday like, Adams she, over here. She did so amazing. Yeah. So. Like, yeah. And uh, the one of the most relatable in that movie was Gamer Guy and posted with one button. I was like, who posts a video with one button? The Switch, which he was clearly playing. <laughs> I get, but in order to. Post on the switch, you have to hold the button for thirty seconds. It's a better and then switch. it doesn't immediately yeah. share. It's, it's a that's not it's how that works. better switch. <laughs> it's a switch where you can live record and post while undocked. Like holy shit! Please, someone make that like console. We'll play it. <laughs> like, ah, uh, but. I mean, honestly, PlayStation might try that. They might, because, like, they're already trying to do their uh, fake Wii U that is going to clearly fail. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, like, uh, probably the next best one down would actually maybe be the mermaid, because I think they did her character really well. The, the mermaid was done very well because, she, again, <laughs> she is, the movie telegraphs that all mermaids are evil. It starts there. But every interaction with the mermaid outside of the first scene, like I kind of wanted it to happen, where yeah, they where made it was all beasts. it was all shit. Where you were, you were like, okay, maybe the mermaid we saw in the trailer was actually the mother. Yes, maybe it's not a <laughs> bit. No, it's a hundred percent a bit. It's but, a yeah, damn. That's like, but she plays it perfectly where it's just like there's no hint like of it she, until it happens she plays it so well that, yes yeah, it's like, you have no hmm. idea it's coming yeah. even though you know it's coming. you absolutely know it's coming but you're like but it it but seems it like they're not and it's like yeah. uh so i want to say that we're that some of the things we've said about this movie does sound very negative but again what i want to say is i went into this movie expecting it to be for kids and it clearly is fitting that role. It is not a deep movie. There's not a lot of <laughs> super heavy plot in this. It's, we're not watching, like, I don't know. We're not even watching, like, Elsa and Anna in uh, Frozen 2, where they go into, like, a lot of the lore no, of no, that no, universe. No. It's, a, it's very much for very young kids. And so, I'm, I judge it from that perspective of, I'm not expecting the heavy plot. I'm not expecting extremely developed characters. So, yeah, they could have developed the, the the family a little bit more and maybe not made them quite so... Distant. And, yeah, quite so distant. But that's kind of but reminiscent of real life. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's she ran away from home and's pissed off and never talks to her mother because her mother is overbearing. Meanwhile, our main character is stuck at home with an <laughs> overbearing mother who she just wants to go to prom. It's like, yeah. Uh, uh, the, I don't know, what's an underwater fruit that I can make this joke with? Uh, like, the underwater apple does not fall far from the underwater tree. Like, I don't know. I don't know any underwater fruit, fruit, unfortunately. Yeah, and I'm it's, the field biologist. I'm, yeah, it's like, I, I'm sure there are. <laughs> I just don't know what they are. Uh, so. Seaweed? Seaweed? That's a, that is a vegetable at best. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. pretty sure you can eat seaweed and salad. 
Like there's a solid yeah, seaweed. Yeah, there's not fruit. But that's the best I got. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but what? But it doesn't fall from anything. There's there's no tree to fall from. I don't know. There's there's no good metaphor here. No. Anyways, so going into it with that with that attitude, yeah, it was absolutely a great movie. If you really want DreamWorks to make the wicked to to the Little Mermaid, where it's all the the crack inside, and it turns out the mermaids are evil, and it's all this deep lore. It's like, you're not getting that. Honestly, I, I want to say that this movie felt almost more like an Illumination movie than it did a DreamWorks movie. It kind of had a similar energy to me, to like A Secret Life of Pets or something like Minions. Not quite as, not quite brain-numbingly stupid. Because there's, here's the, I, I like uh minions and Spickle me those are great movies but i also am fully aware that i'm having to turn my brain off to watch those movies those are not movies you go in to think those are very young kids movies this has a similar energy to that but not quite as brain numbingly dead it's it's not yeah. stupid yeah it's not it's it's like that's why i compared it earlier i compared it to turning red it felt a lot like turning red so i guess i'd say it's a pixar like turning red style movie it has that kind of energy and the same kind of plot. Maybe this was just based on turning red. It's like, same girl who just wants to rebel from her parents because her parents are overbearing. Same overbearing mother. Same overbearing grandmother. <laughs> it's the, like, yeah. So yeah, it's just turning red. Like, guys, I like this movie so much that as soon as it comes out on DVD, I'm owning it. And I also tried looking up Funko Pops for it, which don't exist yet. Yeah, which is quite sad. I'm sure there's elemental Funko Pops at this point so, because it's Disney. So um, at one point I might get a shirt. Yeah. Or so, something. Like I enjoyed this movie that much. Yeah. So I want to say I think my only issue with the movie, keep in mind I loved everything about this movie, even what I'm about to say now. Again, we've given three, or we're about to give three problems that we consider with the movie and we're still saying it's better than elemental. Yes. Which the biggest problem with elemental was just that it, it was a, like, it wasn't the movie we thought it was going to yeah. be. It's like... Like, it was more serious than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, exactly. This movie I was expecting to be, like, lighthearted, and it was. Elemental I expected to be lighthearted, and it ended up being very serious. Yeah, I think my only issue was, uh... So, you know, uh, Ruby's crush. What's his name again? Uh, Charlie? I know. No memory. See? It, it has slipped from my mind. I like his design except for his hair. I just couldn't take him seriously with his hair. You can't you can't take somebody whose hair looks like shaggy seriously under any circumstances. Was it wasn't dreadlocks, was it? Was it I don't think it was full dreadlocks. No, it, like it, was it was like, like a half afro or yeah, something. Yeah, it, it was yeah. It, it was something weird. Yeah. So I I just I, I thought he was maybe going to at least change his hair for the prom or something, and that just didn't happen. But I thought he was a cool character, and he was fine as the crush. That That's fine. But I just... In the back of my mind, I was sitting there laughing at how stupid he looked. Like, uh, yeah. So... I think that's my only issue with the movie. I just, I couldn't get over that guy's hairstyle. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Uh, just the C? Yes. Just Connor. Yeah, it's Connor. Connor. Uh, Honestly, John the, Connor! the actual guy's hair is not It's just a shorter version of his character's hair. But yeah, like, he was interesting, and we didn't get a lot of screen time with him at all. Yeah. Yeah, um, again... That's what I'm saying about this movie. The like, movie you is... got the chemistry with them yeah. when they said they were kind of in the same class together and they knew each other. Like, well, I, I'm not I even sure they are in the that. same class. They're, no, they, they, they were. They... Like, she tutors him. But I don't know if they're in the same class specifically. But, I don't know. Doesn't They they don't really... It's they're not really some brought some tutoring program together. Yeah, it's That's like they're, they're together. They, like, they go to the same school, she tutors him. That's all you need to know. It's the, it's not delved into. Like, again, a lot of this movie is not delved into. It's a very lighthearted, easygoing movie. There's not a lot of investment. There's not a lot of thinking you have to do. It's just an enjoyable time. And for that, it's great. 
But yeah, uh, so let's talk about the training montage for a second. So, <clears throat> she just really lo- likes the idea of eye lasers. That's her whole... <laughs> she just keeps being like, but I eye want lasers. the eye lasers. I like how she shoots the alarm clock. That was so good. How did she hide that? I don't know. And she shot all those people's phones while she was walking. Stop watching that. Stop watching that. Stop uh, watching that. Stop watching that. So, uh, anyway. <clears throat> in the trailer, they showed one scene mm-hmm. that was not in the movie. Yeah. Which it was like, you have super speed. And they yeah, never that mentioned that. Yeah, that never shows up in the movie. So, the closest thing we got was Ruby swimming against, like, really strong current. Mm-hmm. That's the best we got. And yeah. she needed to do that. Her grandma just didn't say it was super speed. Yeah, because it's not super speed. It's the not. Idea, the idea was just that it's your swimming is needs to be stronger than other people's. And you need to be able to go against these strong currents. Like, human swimming, not good enough for this. Yeah, so... They didn't have that from the trailers. Like, I think they only had, like, two or three trailers. And that is the only thing that wasn't in the movie, was her mentioning. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even sure if the family was in the trailers. If they were, they were briefly shown and didn't say, oh, yeah, I'm your mom or I'm your dad. No, nope. I had I'm no pretty idea. Sure. Pretty sure they were what not the, in the trailers. Yeah, I have no idea what the family looked like until we saw them, and all of them are amazing. Yeah. The one oh one thing I did also want to talk about because so mermaids don't age. Mermaids are just always the same age. That's just canonical to both real lore on mermaids and this movie. She specifically says, like, oh yeah, we don't age. The one thing about the Kraken is they very clearly do age because yes. the grandmother has gotten older and people comment on that. But the funny thing is it, Ruby looks like a kid. But when the mother turns into a kraken, she also still kind of looks like a kid. Like, her teeth have well, that, like, braces She feel. might age... Like, krakens might age slowly. Yeah, they do. That's what I'm saying. So, she still has that... Like, w- when she's in a human form, it's perfectly natural. She looks like an adult. But when she's in her kraken form, it... Like, you can still... She has those teeth she, of, like, like, I'm wearing braces. Yeah. yeah, she looks like she's maybe 17 or something. Which is, like... Okay. It, it it distracted me when I saw it, and I'm just like... But I'm also just like, it makes sense from the logic of, like, she ran away as a kid, and she's rebelling against her parents. So she still feels like a kid to them. She still feels like the runaway, like, uh, rebel, even despite the fact that she's like, I'm doing this for my family. But, yeah. Also- that's, that's, one of the, that's one of the other things that they don't really go into. They don't go into the, like why she ran away that's the thing they they set up like she, it, the way they set it up it sounds like the grandmother wanted, was overbearing she they, wanted to know the truth so badly that she just ran away yeah that's what it seems like it was no 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 no. the mother i'm saying oh. the mother ran away from home from being the princess and this it seems to be setting it up th- that's how, what, how i thought they were swerving this i thought they were going to swerve it that the grandmother was evil and that the mother left to protect her daughter from her grandmother, who was trying to kill everyone else off, and they're actually just completely peaceful. Because I was like, okay, I could see them doing that swerve. But no, the grandmother's just overbearing, but they never really give a reason why the mother needed to leave, other than that her mother's overbearing. I I thought the grandmother was going to be the real villain, and the... Yeah, it's like, it was... they, they, They set up a great swerve that they didn't go with. But which is fine. I don't mind them not going with it. But it was a, it was great. But from what was said in the movie, it seemed like sh- the mother left to make a better life for her daughter. Yeah, that seems like what her motivation was. I she just doesn't want I, the grandmother in her life. I guess. I, I guess because that's the only thing she as, doesn't want Ruby yeah. to be a princess or something. Yeah, I I don't I don't know. It, yeah, it's like yeah, I don't know. It's that ha- it has to just be that she didn't want the mother in her life because it's like, otherwise I don't see any way that she wouldn't have a better life underwater. Th- that's why I really enjoy this movie. It it turns the Little Mermaid story on its head, not in that the Kraken are not evil, and that the mermaids are are evil, but it turns it on its head in that. The Little Mermaid's big thing is I live underwater all the time. I'm bored with my life, and I just want to see what the the normal world is like. 
And that's what the mother did, effectively. Like, we didn't see that plot. But that's effectively the mother's story, is like, she's leaving her overbearing mother and goes to live on the on the land to get away from the water and see this bra this brave new world. But we get to see the, the sequel to that. We get to see what happens when your daughter grows up on land and dreams of the ocean and just says, no, I don't agree with you leaving. It's cooler down there. Like, <laughs> I, so it's, yeah, it's, I, I, I like the twist on the Little Mermaid story. If you haven't seen, I, this is the kind of movie Disney should be making instead of the Little Mermaid movie. Yes. So, uh, is there anything else we really want to talk about about this movie? I'm trying to think. There's no end credits bit, so don't say yeah, no, no end credits, so don't bother oh yeah that was one more thing i wanted to talk about so yeah uh by the end of the movie nobody dies uh the mermaid is caged up but we don't know for how long and it seemed like she was fine with it oh are you trending how many likes are you getting like that was so <laughs> good like, no don't film right now my hair's a mess slightly pulls away okay i'm good now <laughs> just like <laughs> that was amazing just uh, but yeah, this is one of the few movies where they're absolutely pandering to like influencers and like gamers and but they seem to actually understand on some level how to portray influencers or gamers in a more or less realistic light <laughs> where it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. Sorry. I'm not ready for the camera. OK, good. Now we're, we're, we're all good. <laughs> it's like, beautiful. Uh, so, um, yeah, when they. I was not expecting Ruby to be in a new dress at prom. Yeah, she she shows up at the end in this dress. She was not wearing that. Yeah, so she magically, point, she's gained, magically gained it from nowhere. Gained it, but when she was revealed with that dress, it, it I almost great. stood out of my seat. I'm like, great. oh my god, that is beautiful. It's so beautifully cute. Yeah, very good. So. The, we have, I want to say we have found one. we have found the one thing, guys, that younger bro has younger bro has seen the light. He has finally experienced Moe. <laughs> Just I experienced Moe when I watched Ruby Chibi. That's true, but the, it's it's rare to have that Moe experience outside of anime. It's just not it's not something that's utilized. This movie felt like, like yes, I, here is the I felt here it, is Ruby Gilman. She is Moe. Like I felt the Moe in Steven Universe, yeah. Ruby Chibi, now Ruby Gilman. Yeah, <laughs> a few it's other like, series that I can't name yeah. right now. But it's heretical to say we will be we will be thrown against the trident and against the cross for ever daring to say that Moe is not always Japanese. But yeah, guys. Yeah. I am excited for the future of this franchise. I hope yeah. it has a future. I don't want it to just stop with this movie. I will buy the movie as soon as it's on DVD. Like, as soon as I'm at Walmart one day, it's on DVD. Yeah, it's I'm really good. Mine. And, and I, stick, I stick by saying, this was one of DreamWorks' lighter-hearted movies. I, I really can't think of anything DreamWorks has done that's this lighthearted. Yeah, like, most of their other movies have been kind of serious. Even yeah, Shrek. Yeah, even Shrek has, like, surprisingly more character building and, like, and lore than this movie does. So, yeah, it's, this, this does approach on them hitting, like, a Pixar or, like, a, an Illumination-style movie. And I'm fine with that. It yeah. was, it was a great movie for what it was. It, but it did defy my expectations a little bit in terms of, what DreamWorks can do. Yeah, like, out of all the movies we have watched for our summer movie marathon, this is one of the better ones we watched. Yeah. Like, I thought it was on par with, like, Flash. Yeah. I, I... <laughs> just to be clear, I would say that it's above Flash, because I would say that <laughs> Elemental was above, above Flash. But that's beside the point. Yeah, like, I think Flash and this movie are probably the, the top two, two, top so two I, yeah. I've enjoyed. Yeah. All right, I think that's all we want to say about the movie. Yeah. I, I, it's gonna, it's good. Watch it. Yeah, it's really good. So, okay, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. We're gonna come back next time 
for the last in our six-part summer movie blockbuster marathon. That's not Marvel. <laughs> yeah, it is not Marvel. It's But we will be watching Marvel later. Yeah, but... After this next week, we will be taking a break because there are no more movies. For at least two months. That, yeah, for a little while. <laughs> we finally get a break. Sorry we didn't see John Wick 4. Yeah. We hadn't seen John Wick 1, 2, or 3. I did. Yeah, well, you did, but we hadn't seen it for the channel. So John Wick 4 is going to have to wait for a bit. Uh, but that's a side point. What is the point is, we will see you all on the next Hot Take. Goodbye.